If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, then why not visit BetAngel.com today and download a free trial. So back in 2014, Betfair asked me to record uh, entire trading sessions um, so that they could use it in one of their campaigns. And uh, it, was, it was good to do that because I think that there's always been the scepticism around professional trading and trading and whether it can be done or not. And I totally accept that it's not easy, um, but it's nice to be able to show people that it is possible. So they said, well, why don't we record a whole load of videos and um, we can use that in the campaign. The funny thing was they only picked one video out of the, all the sessions that I did. But this was one of the ones that they didn't pick. And you can see me establishing a position here, which I'll talk through in a second, um, at odds of two. But um, yeah, we recorded loads of them. I found all of these on my hard drive recently when I was tidying stuff up. And I thought, well, this is quite an interesting one. And the reason I think it's interesting is because it shows me backing a steamer. This is something I, I do quite often. Um, now, you can back a steamer. You could lay something else on the basis that the favorite's coming in. You could do any one of those things. And I think one of the problems that people have when they're trading is that they're trying to make too many decisions. So, you know, why not go through the day saying, I'm going to find a steamer and I'm going to back it. And then just focus on looking at good quality backing opportunities on steamers. Now, that means you exclude yourself from a huge number of races. But you will get better and better at identifying those opportunities. If you turn up at a market and you say, what's happening? Anything could be happening in the market. You're going to have to make so many decisions that you're probably going to struggle to do that. So it's better that you go into a market with a predefined idea of exactly what you're doing. Practice that, and then you'll reach a level where you can look at a market and say, well, yeah, this is my interpretation of the market. Um, so yeah, you know, if you're struggling, uh, go into a market and say, this is what I'm looking for, and look for it. And if it isn't there, you do nothing. You go on to the next market. But typically, when you get much more competent at this, you're looking to read the market and identify where the best trade is. And on this occasion, I've picked the favorite. The reason that I've done that is because the favorite's been coming in and coming in and coming in, and all of the evidence that we've seen on this market and on the ladder and on all the other runners, everything about it is basically showing that there's backing activity. You can see the backing activity piling in. If you haven't seen it, rewind the video, mute me, and watch the market. You can see the backing activity occurring in the market. You can see that people like this particular horse. Um, and it actually started long before I switched the record button on the video as well. But typically, you can see here the market is retracing here. Now, this is quite normal in a trading market. It's unusual to see a market just go in a straight line. Not impossible, just unusual. So naturally, the market will rebound at some point. And therefore, when it does this, I've learned over time that you have defined exit points. So in this particular market, I would exit if it broke back through two again. So we've had a nice little ride here. The price has come back. But the fact is, in general, in the market, uh, people still like this horse. So we're now looking to see, is it going to break up above two? Or are we going to see more back money coming into the market? If we see more back money coming into the market, fantastic. If we don't, then we start thinning out our position and being a little bit more cautious. And there's the back money. Can you see the back money going through? Um, and all of the layers are running scared at this particular point, or people who have positions in the market on the lay side. And you can see money's come straight back in on there, and the gamble is continuing on this particular horse. So it's, un it's unlikely that you'll see a straight line, but you will see a pattern of lower highs and gradually the price coming in if people like it. And steamers are curious because when people see a horse steaming, they tend to back it. And because people back it, it steams a bit more, and so people end up thinking, oh, it's coming in, I'll, I'll back it again. And the whole process just continues onward from there. Um, so identifying steamers um, is a key tactic that you can use. And you can see that uh, on the countdown clock, we're getting quite close to the off here. There'll be horses milling around and loading, which you can't see on here. And therefore, we have to think about exiting at this particular point. And it's, you know, it's likely that, um, you know, there's a little bit of late money coming in because of, of that uh, steaming process, the fact that the horse has been backed already, people are probably putting in late money. But we're going to have to uh, exit at this particular point anyway, because it's unlikely to get much lower. It's better to have a safe exit than to try and uh, go overboard here. But what you do tend to find is that when you have a profitable trade, you can see I'm about to exit here, 
if you look at the top of the screen. I'm just about to click that hedge button, just held off for a second there. Um, if you have um, a horse that's steaming, then you know if you start trying to identify ones that exhibit those characteristics, looking for persistent backing, then you can start to pick up on that tactic, and that can be one of the uh, a part of your repertoire when you're actively trading. Um, and if you practice that by just looking for that all of the time, then you'll probably get better and better at doing that, and you can start looking for other tactics as and when appropriate, and then add those into the mix as well. But of course, with the favourite coming in, there are other runners heading out in the other direction, but this was a fairly strong favourite. And if we look at the charts on this particular uh, video, you can see here I'm using the advanced chart so I can rewind and look at everything that's happened within this particular market. Very early market here. This is where the activity came into the market and the activity was backing. And you can see the price come all the way in. We joined the market at around twos. Um, the price continued to come in there. We had a little bit of a rebound um, at this particular point. And then the late money came and pushed the price in even lower. What Betfair asked me to do is not only record entire trading sessions, but um, they also asked me um, to come up with screenshots of the actual uh, account as well, which I was happy to do. I uh, did this over a huge number of sessions, but unfortunately Betfair only cherry-picked one of those videos uh, for some reason, but I've actually got uh, loads on the hard drive by the look of it, so I thought I'd show this one to you because it was an interesting one. Hope you enjoy it.